had a life completely changed. The first months I was struggling with breastfeeding and uh, learning what to do with a baby. During uh, parenting is that people keep giving advices and that confuses me a lot. Um, I try not to pay attention to these advices, but at the very beginning I did. I, I listened to all of them and they all confused me and uh, it didn't help me to find my voice and didn't help to find, to help me uh, what I really want. I realized that it was a really stupid way I breastfeeded my child because I was watching my, you know, I was more paying attention to the, uh, what, to the clock uh, than to my children's needs. Uh, to, to, to Peter Snitz and uh, so I realized that I should change the way I breastfeed him and uh, so that was a turning point. It's hard, I don't think that there is a point when you are ready. Uh, I think the point when you feel like, when you really would like to become or when you really would like to have a child and it's nothing to do with being ready or not ready. Uh, I think you, we are, I'm not ready yet, <laughs> so I'm, I'm still learning and I think we are learning when we are doing parenting. It's no question that it's hard to balance between the family and their professional life. Uh, and uh, it's not only family and um, professional life, it's also you have to go through um, uh, through many crises with your partner. I remember when uh, I gave birth and the first few weeks uh, we went through uh, lots of talks and lots of, uh, I would say, mini crises. Then, uh, you know, a new family was born. Uh, so out of two, three and four members' family were born. And, um, and that's a long process to go through and we are still going through. So we had to negotiate two of us whose freedom is first. Uh, and that was a really big fight uh, with, with my husband because for both of us, the freedom is extremely important. So all, all uh, debates and um, confrontations were connected to who, is, who, who gets how much freedom. <laughs> We have a very strict logistic, we have a strict lo uh, family logistic. Uh, every day we plan in advance, for, for the week we plan in advance, who is doing what, who is going to pick up the children, who is doing what in the evening. So uh, recently we were really laughing that we should find at least one night when we are together and uh, when we are doing nothing just to be together. You know, when you are single you have much more time to spend time with friends, with family, and when you, are, when you become a parent, then you spend more time with the fam families. That's how we do here uh, in my family. And I have less time with, with friends, and it doesn't mean that I don't have a need for them. I do, of course, but it, uh, you just cannot, uh, cannot have the same life. You have to uh, put up <laughs> with all of all these things that the parenthood and the parenting um, comes up, uh, brings up. Um, yeah, the new relationships needs to be born and um, that's a big job. I think when we are talking about uh, parenting and parenthood, uh, you are going through, you are laboring through many, many things. Uh, it's not only the job, being a mom, becoming a mom, uh, it's also about uh, laboring a new partnership, laboring a new relationship with your parents. Uh, it's like doing everything from, I mean, again, you start your life again. The way I could give birth to my children was very important. That it was an absolutely undisturbed uh, women-supported birth and that made me uh, really much more stronger. Before I didn't really talk and care about uh, women's rights and uh, f 
uh, freedom of choice. Um, so I did the human rights, but not on women issues. But as I mentioned earlier, that becoming a mom did bring uh, the women issues in my personal life. Uh, I think it's really connected that my professional life moved to this issue because I, I'm, I'm living in this society with open eyes and I'm very sensible and, uh, and uh, yes, yeah, sensible for those issues that are connected to this. So um, nobody's surprised around me that I'm doing women's rights at the moment. <laughs> Um, it's been five, day, five years now that I'm, um, I'm doing this uh, advocacy and this legal uh, help in this home birth movement. It's not only home birth movement, it's also about undisturbed birth, good birth, wherever you would like to give birth. And I did coordinate the legal uh, jobs around um, midwives because of the because of the lack of regulation, midwives were um, uh, the home birth itself were, were is criminalized, which means that uh, if a birth incident happens in at home, then those cases are examined uh, only in criminal uh, court system. Uh, which cannot be compared to any European countries uh, where the home birth or the midwife sled birth are regulated. Um, and uh, now in Hungary we are living in a society where women need to, or women are scared when they decide to give home birth and uh, they are scared of, uh, of comments, uh, they are scared of uh, authorities, they are scared of uh, of many things. I, I really believe in small communities and I think mothers in a position when they uh, meet and they have to meet those people they wouldn't meet otherwise. Uh, we are living in isolated uh, world. Families are living in isolated world and I think that's a good uh, breakout if uh, families connect, would connect more to each other and to start building small communities, commu uh, communities. Uh, so that's what I, I believe in and that's what I think Hungary need to learn more. My children helped me to, to find my way, to find my voice as a woman. Becoming a mother is more connected uh, to, for me to, to becoming a woman. I think uh, I was born as a woman when I gave birth to my children. Motherhood means love to me, 